Hi everybody, it's Matricity. Welcome to my matrix. It's early in the morning, but I'm starting this video because I'm going to make a little soup today. Um, I am a fan of crock pot cooking and I love to make beans in the winter time in the fall. So today I'm actually going to make something called 15 bean soup. You can buy this anywhere at your grocery store, but this is the 15 bean packet. And it has all sorts of nutritious beans in it, 15 different beans, you know, nutritious, protein, fiber, all kinds of great things. And the good thing about this package is that uh, this one comes with its own flavoring packet. They don't all, but inside that little white packet, there's a flavoring packet that I use. And so it adds its own flavor. So um, I'm going to be using water with this instead of chicken broth because this is chicken flavored. So it actually has some sort of chicken broth flavoring in the packet along with other spices. Um, normally I find out with using the flavor packets, don't add any extra salt because they have salt included. Sometimes maybe a little too much salt, but just enough. Um, so don't add any extra salt. So it's not just the beans that I put in the crock pot. Uh, I add other things to it to kind of jazz it up. Um, I always add some sort of green. Um, you hear the birds singing behind me because when I start talking, they start singing. Today I'm adding baby kale. Sometimes they add spinach, but today I found baby kale on sale at my local grocery store. Oh my gosh, those birds. So I thought I would try that. Um, let me see if I can quiet them down by putting a cover over them. I'll be back. Now adding greens to the beans just adds a little bit more fiber, a little bit more healthiness to it. So I always add some sort of green to my beans whenever I make it. And of course, I always make greens by themselves in the crock pot, but today I'm just adding a little bit of baby kale. <clears throat> Other things that you can't do without when you think about a soup um, is garlic. And I don't have any cloved garlic, but I have garlic in a jar. So it's fresh garlic, so I'm going to use that. I usually add about a tablespoon of garlic. You can never go wrong with garlic because garlic has so many good benefits. Um, so garlic, everything, you know, benefits when you put garlic in it. So I'm adding some garlic, probably a tablespoon or so. And of course, there's some onion. I'm going to add some, chop up some onion. I think I have some purple onion and also some Vidalia onions. I'm going to put a combination of that and just chop some onions and throw that into. And then for meat, um, I don't always add meat to the beans, but uh, today I am. And I found two things at the grocery store today. Um, I'm going to add some beef round chunks. So beef chunks, and it's debatable. I hear that some people say that you should brown the meat because brown adds flavor when you think about cooking before putting in the crock pot. I've done that in the past. Um, most of the time I just dump it straight all in because you think about crock pot, pot cooking. You want it to be quick. You just dump the things in, turn it on for four or five hours, and boom, you have a full meal after. So today I think I'm just going to dump the beef right into the crock pot with everything. And lastly, this is kind of unusual. Something I saw, which I've never eaten before, never tried before. Um, but sometimes you think about soups, I add smoked things like smoked um, ham hocks sometimes or smoked turkey wings. Today I found smoked turkey tails. What are turkey tails? Um, the tail feather part, that little nub nublet where the feathers come out, I don't know. But I found smoked turkey tails. They look interesting. So I got them today. So I'm going to add these two. Um, there's just a few of them in this package, like three. They're kind of big because they're turkeys. But smoked turkey tails along with the beef in my soup. So I'm going to throw those things together and I'll show you what it looks like. And I'm going to put the crock pot on high for about probably six hours and let that cook all day. And then this afternoon, we'll have soup for dinner. So let me put those things together and show you what it looks like. I'll be back. The first thing I'm going to add to my crock pot is the beans. So these, these are my 15 beans that I'm going to pour into the crock pot. See how pretty they are? There they are. Look how colorful they are. So they're in. And now I'm going to add my onions and also my tablespoons of garlic. Now with the onions, they're not finely chopped. They're roughly chopped. So here they are. 
So I'm just going to add those. Just going to slide those right in. And then I'm going to add my tablespoons of garlic. Now, if you can look inside, you can see in there I've got my onions to one side and I've got my garlic to the other. And just for good measure, I added two tablespoons of garlic because you can never go wrong with garlic. And when you think about the cold and flu season coming up, garlic is something that has lots of antibodies and anti-inflammatories that help us. So the garlic is in there, so that looks really good. Even though there's no water in there yet, I'm just gonna stir it around. And then the next thing I'm gonna add um, is gonna be my baby kale. Now I've rinsed the baby kale, so I'm gonna go get that and add that now. Now with greens, you do wanna rinse those before you put those in. So I've rinsed those, they've been draining the colander, and even though a package seems like a whole lot, you know how greens, they shrink down when you cook them. So this little package that I'm adding is gonna shrink down to probably nothing once it starts to wilt. So I'm gonna put all of that in, and they're baby greens, so they should be nice and tender. Um, so I'm gonna put that in, and then I'm gonna go rinse my meat. I'm gonna start with the beef, and then I'm gonna take a look at those turkey tails and see what they look like, but I'm gonna put the beef in next. And again, I'm not gonna ground the beef um, ahead of time. I'm just going to toss it all in. Okay, this is my uh, beef. It's been washed. I know some people debate whether or not they should wash meat before cooking. Some people just take meat right out of the package and just cook it. Because meat is handled by humans, and in the time of uh, COVID, you know, now I still wash meat, even though COVID does not really get into our food supply. But I just rinse it, you know, just for good measure. And I'm going to dump that into my crock pot. So there it goes on top of my uh, baby kale. And last but not least, I'm going to add my turkey tails. The turkey tails, these are something I have not ever bought before. They're kind of big, bigger than I thought. They are basically three and a half pieces here in this package. Um, I think I'll just add one. Um, one should be enough with the amount of beef that I have in there. And I'll save the other two for future, for future soups. Um, so I think I'll add one turkey tail. And then to top everything off, it does need water. So I'm going to add about uh, seven cups of water. That is what's needed for soup. And last but not least, I'll add the flavor packeting. Um, so it does say on there for slow cooking. So I'm going to add the flavor packeting and then I'm going to put this on high for about four hours. Um, give it a stir and then after that probably cook it on low for another two hours. So, gonna, so by the end of the day today, you know, six o'clock, we will have a wonderful uh, bean soup for dinner. Uh, try this recipe. I hope you like it. I think it'll be pretty good and tasty and nutritious too. Okay, that yellow stuff over everything, that is actually the seasoning packet that I've added for flavor that came with the 15 bean soup. And now I'm adding the seven cups of water. Um, I have a four cup container, so now I'm adding the water. And to this, I will add another uh, three cups. And I'm gonna turn the crock pot on high. And I will check back later once we have soup. Crock pot cooking is so good in the winter time because it's so easy. All right, we'll let you see what it looks like later once it starts to percolate. Hi, it's hours later and our soup is ready. I just showed you a picture. Here's the taste test. Mm. Very good. Try that recipe, it's very good. See you later, alligators. Bye.